Hey guys, doing a little side project here. My buddy shot a bowl last year with me and uh, wanted to commemorate this experience. So I saved the ivories and I've been just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with these things. And it occurred to me this morning, I could probably take a, a short magnum case and cut it down and maybe squish it open a little bit in a way that allows that ivory to get in there and then make somewhat of a pendant, either for like a necklace or for a car rear view mirror or something like that. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot, see how it goes. So I'm gonna cut this case down to be just big enough to fit the bottom of this in there. Um, Cause I don't wanna have to fill the whole thing with solder. And I also think a full size one would just be a little bit too much. Um, so you can use the pipe cutter to do that. And then I'll just sort of squeeze the brass a little bit and uh, kind of come up with an idea to make sure this stays in place with the solder. There you go, there's the cut casing. I'm gonna deburr that. And then I'm just gonna take some, I don't know, I'll probably use the vise with some soft jaws to squeeze that open. Cause right now, I'm not fitting in there all the way. And we need to make that a little bit wider. There it is, you can kind of see it's opened up a little bit at the bottom. I'm gonna just give that a check and then do it a little more if needed. Ended up using the vise grips on the last squeeze. So it's a little scratched, but I could polish out pretty easy. And that should set right in there like that. I think what I'm gonna do now is drill a hole through the ivory at the base so that when the so it dips into the solder there, that solder will be locked in by the tapered shape there and then it'll also fill the hole in the ivory and that'll hold it in place. Okay, got my hole. If you do this, be sure to drill really slowly. I chipped it there with the drill bit and then I had to back off and just kind of lighten up on the pressure. You could easily just break right through that. Okay, I'm gonna heat this brass up and then I'll uh, drop a bunch of solder in there until it's basically full to the top and then push that ivory in there and let it cool. Make sure I get it all the way around so that it sticks on everything. Looks like it's working. Looks like just the right amount of solder and tighter than a tooth in my mouth. Okay, just gonna let that cool and get the other one going. And then once that's cooled off, I'll go ahead and drill a hole sideways through it so we can get a leather strap through there. Okay, there we go. Uh, just gotta get the holes in there. I'm actually thinking this is gonna make a really cool keychain fob. Put a nice hole in there to get a ring in there. Remember that hunt every time, take the keys out. Back in the vise, I'm gonna use my spring-loaded center punch on the side here. There we go. <sighs> Didn't quite work that time. Try that again with a better hold on the vise. There we go, that should, uh be a strong enough of a divot to guide that drill bit. Like butter. Look at that. Perfect little hole. You can even see this. It's solid all the way through with the solder in there. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty neat. There we go. I piloted with eighth inch and then I bumped up two sizes to a 530 seconds. And that should be just big enough to deburr the outside of that hole. So there's no sharp edges on there as well. There we go. Got a couple of cool little keychain pennants. And I'm uh, going to go surprise my buddy Matt with it this weekend. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, no. you're too smart. No, you know no, no. everything. No, 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 no. Remember that bowl you shot last year? Yeah. Here, I almost forgot to do something with these, but open your hand. Yeah, we talked about that. 
Well, I assume both of these aren't mine. No, this you get the good one, though. Is there a good and a bad? I kind of that one up. <laughs> That's fair. Man. How neat. It's well, sorted in. Not, not many men have one of those. I don't think anyone has one of those. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Heck yeah. I figure it'd be uh, either good around the rearview mirror or as a keychain fob. Or I don't think a keychain fob makes a good good option because that's a, prone to be lost. But that's yeah. I mean, I haven't lost my keys in thirty years, but I could easily. You can hang that on your mirror though. Who's that? Yeah. Whatever. That's great. Very cool. Hope you guys like that one. Elk ivories are always nice to keep, just as a way to commemorate. And I always wonder what the heck to do with these things. And I'm sure there's lots of jewelers that would make nice things out of it, but that makes a really quick, easy way to do something for a friend. And uh, we'll now have something to commemorate that hunt for years to come. Hope you like that. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, comments in the questions below. Take care.